Hey guys, what's going on? It's Crystal Collects and I'm back with another Indonesian Pokemon opening featuring the Indonesian set Matahari Dan Bulan, Kabangatan Legenda. And this translates to in English, Sun and Moon, Legends Awaken. So in this video, I'll be opening up set A. As you can see on screen, it features a beautiful artwork of Lugia. I did previously open up set B, which features Solgaleo. And you might be wondering what cards are included in this set. Expect to see cards from Sun and Moon Bay set, Shining Legends, Crimson Invasion, Guardians Rising, and last but not least, Burning Shadows. And with that being said, a lot of my chase cards are actually going to be shining cards including shining Lugia, shining Rayquaza, and also shining Arceus. I'm also after a couple of trainers in the set including Gladian and also Acerola. But one thing to note about Indonesian booster boxes is that a secret rare is not guaranteed and you also have 20 booster packs instead of 30 from typical Japanese booster boxes. For more information on this set, there's a total of 218 cards in set A and originally came out on October 26, 2019 along with set B. So let's see what we get in this video. Before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe Subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon, Beyblade, and Mazaka Party content. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started with opening this booster box of Kibangatan Legenda. But one thing I actually want to point out, fun fact here, I was actually going to keep this booster box sealed, but as you can see, the box is actually kind of bulging. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna open it up on the channel once again for you guys. And as you can see too, it's bulging so much, the plastic is starting to split here. So before we talk about the specs, let me just go ahead and take this off. So yes, yeah, so there's gonna be 20 booster packs, five cards per pack, just for more information for you guys. And as you can see, beautiful Lugia artwork. Actually, this is it's only on Thai and also Indonesian booster boxes. And as you may have seen earlier, there's actually typings on the box. So sets A and B are separated by type. So these are the specific types that you will see in set A. And of course, this is set AS to A, just to indicate. This is before the time they started putting I on the set numbers. And there's also one more fun fact. There's also Nick Pokemon in the set, one of Jay's favorites. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll pass this to you. Thank you, cameraman. And here are our 20 booster packs. Unfortunately, no sides today. But as you can see, also the typing is on the booster pack if you do not have the booster box. Just one more look. So we have grass, electric, fighting, dark, and also dragons. It's a sun and moon era. Actually, one fun fact too, for an upcoming set in Japanese, dragon types are coming back. I'm so happy to hear about that. What do you, what do you think, Jay? It's cool. I like it. And we have one to the front here. Like Rayquaza is such a cool Pokemon. Isn't it? Especially the VMAX, it looks so cool. We have, v we have Beedrill, Alolan Raticate. Of course, Rayquaza is one of my favorite Pokemon, as you guys already know. Makohita, Shelmet. Oh, actually, I'm mistaken. There's six cards. I got so used to the routine. Because of that en energy card, it's going to be extra. And we have Professor Wick. Energy Dick Desire. Wick. Dasar, meaning basic energy for those who do not know Indonesian. All right, continuing. I somehow just keep my energy cards on the side. I like collecting them in different languages. I think it's super fun, but there's a chance of pulling a Nick Pokemon full art. So let's see what we get today. Executor. Executor, yes. We have Hariyama, we have Wimpod, we have Mudbury, and we have Energy Dasar, and Evil Tall Holographic. Very, very nice, actually. Sarangan Mundur. I remember that word, Sarangan, from Battle Styles, if you recall. I do too. All right, I'm actually going to keep the hollows in a separate pile from the energy cards as well. So let's keep going here. We have 20 wonderful booster packs. Hopefully we'll get our shiny of choice today. You are guaranteed at least one shining card, I believe. Okay, so six more cards here. Area in Indonesian, Aether area actually. Metapod, water energy, energy is a Ah, look who it is. Smash the like button for one of Jay's favorites, Alolan Executor, also known as Neck Pokemon. And this is number 123 out of 171. You heard me, 171. That's a lot of cards. I did say 218 cards, but that's also including the secret rares. Keep that in mind. The regular sets will not include the numbers. Okay, so one to the front here. I'm also going to keep it one to the front, even though there's more than um, usual Japanese booster packs. So let's keep going here. We have Scraggy, we have Pancham, we have Dartrix. Energy Desire, and we have here Psychic Memory. All right, it's featuring Sil Valley as well. Hope it's a nice little walk down memory lane with Sun and Moon. I know we've been so heavily invested in the Sword and Shield era. So one to the front here. And as you can see too, international backings. Very different from the Japanese cards, but again, Japanese cards, or sorry, Indonesian cards are manufactured in Japan. So they'll share the exact same card qualities as Japanese cards. Execute, Fire Energy. <gasps> And we got our secret rare. You know what's actually really interesting? I did pull Guzzlord full art from this set. Uh, the regular one, not the hyper rare. So now I have both of them. Wow. This is number 204 out of 171. So higher than the regular set number. Wow. Again, hit the like button if you haven't already. Guzzlord's actually one of my favorite ultra beasts. Isn't that cool, Jay? I didn't even expect like a secret rare. It's pretty cool. Very nice. 
So you're still on the hunt for the shining Pokemon. Still on the shining, yes, exactly. You're guaranteed a shining, but you're not guaranteed a seeker rare. So let's keep going here. We have Kakuna, we have Barboach. Again, either Rayquaza, Lugia, Arceus, and I think Genesect as well, since we have grass types in this set. Again, gonna be separated. So you can expect Ho-Oh in the other set. We did pull it before actually. And also Mew and also I believe some others. I think Volcanion, and if I'm missing any, it'll be probably part of that set. Okay, we have Raichu, we have oh, adorable Rowlet. I think there's a couple of Rowlet arts in this set too. We have Mudsdale, we have Sneasel, and as you can see, lovely silver borders, and you just are, and another holographic, very nice, Oranguru. Seems as if there's hollows guaranteed in every pack. Again, I don't open Indonesian packs every day, but I definitely know the trend in terms of Seeker Rares, the hollows I'm still getting to new, but let's keep going here. Because also pull rates are going to be different between Sun and Moon and also the Sword and Shield era. We have Surskit. We have an Indonesian Pikachu. Going to put that to the side. We have Dartrix, Energy Dasar, Psychic Energy, and Type Null. Even though it's like Type Null in English. Some of the spellings will be different and also you'll see that on trainer cards. Acerola uh, has an S instead of a C and Sophocles has an F instead of a PH. So small differences, which is very interesting. Okay, on to the next pack here. We have Pangoro, we have Sandy Guest, we have Cacnea, we have Murkrow, another energy card, usually second to last. And our GX, we have a Lycan Rock GX, very nice, I believe from Guardians Rising. This is number 80 out of 171 in this set specifically though. And the GX cards will also have a little bit more matted fish finish, just like the Japanese cards. So a little bit different from the English, which I think are a bit more glossy in my opinion. But I always love the feel of Japanese cards. All right, so we have here Pala, we have Purloin, very nice here. We have Bellsprout, Toundu, we have Dark Energy, Energy Desire, and Shaman. Actually, what's interesting, usually this card comes as a holographic, and um, sometimes it also doesn't. So that's one interesting about the uh, Indonesian, and also even the Thai sets are like this too. All right, but I love my Lugia. If you can pull a Lugia, I'll be super happy. I do have it already, but honestly, I don't mind having multiple copies of it just because it's such a beautiful card. We have Mudsdale. We have another Pikachu. Very nice, actually. We have Carnivine by Komiya. We have Noibat. We have Energy Dasar, Electric Energy. And also Kartu Mera Pengita. I think it's a red card. But let's continue here. Something to do with Ultra Beast, I believe. All right, we have six more packs. So yeah, six packs, guys, not five. I correct myself from before. One to the front is still the card. Oh, look at that, we have Rayquaza. So usually Rayquaza is also a hollow, but sometimes it can also be a non holo So that's very interesting. A little Geodude, Hakamo'o, Energy Dessar, <gasps> and a Celebi. I totally forgot Celebi was in the set. That's the one I was missing. Wow, I don't think I even have Shiny Berkelau. I mean, Celebi Berkelau, which means shining in Indonesian. This is number 19 out of 171. So this is part of the main set. But as you know, it's from Shining Legends and it's just so beautiful. So go ahead and sleeve that up. Also, one fun fact, holographic borders are on the Indonesian Shinings, whereas on the Japanese cards, it's silver. So very different if you guys didn't know that. Also a similar trend with the Thai Shining cards as well, but of course it'll be in Thai. So that's really, really cool. Very happy about the Celebi, I did not expect that. And I think also one thing I learned about uh, my fellow Indonesian followers, when you land one Shining and one Seeker Rare, that's all you get. If you, if you don't get a Seeker Rare in a specific booster box, you will get two Shining cards, which is definitely very interesting. You have Zorua, Fairy Energy, oh, I'm so happy about that. And we have Gladian, very nice there. Definitely been noticing I've been getting a lot of Hyper Rare cards from Indonesian boxes, from the, especially from the past. If you guys recall some previous ones, I did get an Umbreon and a Charizard from the first Impact set. Uh, this is called Hantaman Pratama, if you guys recall. This was from way, way in the beginning of my channel uh, when I first started, I think last year, like July-ish, maybe August, a long time ago. All right, see, here we go. We have Sophocles with an F, not a PH. A little bit different. It's a little bit more literal compared to the English language. All right, snippy. But what do you guys think to this pack art? And what's also your favorite Lugia pack art? There's so many of them. We have Gale of, what's it called? The Plasma Gale, sorry, there you go. I was, I was forgetting the first word. We have Plasma Gale. We have Burst Impact. We also have Lost Thunder from English as well. I'm surprised though, there's no Lost Thunder cards in this set. We have Shaman, Hol there's the holographic. So we've seen a non-holo and a holo form of that card, which is really cool. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite Lugia pack arts, I have to say. My other favorite is definitely from Burst Impact in Japanese, also Korean. 
All right, one to the front here. Of course, the Lugio from Lost Thunder is also very nice. But I also love the Plasma Storm pack art. Very intense and very nice blue. We have Mudbree. We have Phantom. Energy Desar, Grass Energy. And Galissapod. This looks like it would be a holographic too. So that's one th unique thing about the Indonesian and Thai cards. I believe in English, they're always going to be holographic. But with these, they're, they can occasionally be hollow or non-hollow, which is very interesting. But I think at this point, we've gotten all our guaranteed cool cards like the... Uh, it's shining, but the secret wear is not guaranteed. That one, next, one thing I wanted to point out. I think we're still due for one more GX though. And we have a Hanch Crow. Very nice. Looks so cool with these silver borders as well. All right. But I think with Sun and Moon booster boxes, you typically maybe get like two or three GXs. Um, and then not including the possible secret wear you could get. All right. So third to last pack, we have Gigalith. We have Pessimian. We have Rotom Dex Mode Pokey Finder. Very nice. Rog and Rolla. Nice artwork to that. Energy Dasar and Hydreigon. Ooh, very nice. I like this with the hollow borders. It looks so pretty. All right, two more packs. So no neck Pokemon today. Jay, just the GX at least. I hope you're happy with that. You can start a neck Pokemon collection. Definitely. On top of your Crowback and Gengar collection. All right, so we have here Electric Memory. We have Oddish. We have Togedemaru, very nice. And of course the attacks are gonna be in Indonesian. Sometimes they're in English. I've definitely noticed that in the, oh, wait. Okay. I stand corrected. Got two Shinings and a Hyper Rare. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take a look at that. His number 29 out of 171. And as mentioned before, holographic borders. Whereas in the Japanese version, you'd have silver borders. Nothing holographic. So that's amazing. Wow. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Two Shinings. This is definitely a very lucky box. I did not get two Shinings last time I opened this up before. All right. So last pack. Not expecting any last pack magic, but at least we get a holographic because I've definitely noticed a hollow in every pack. We have Houndour, we have Pissimian, Water Energy, and Oranguru. There's also another Oranguru holographic in the set as well, but there you go. Be right back with you guys. All right, guys, so time for our final review. Amazing, amazing box. Lots of surprises and unexpected pulls. So, of course, we have our lovely holographics. And actually, you didn't realize this, I actually pulled both of the Oranguru holographics. So, as you can see, like, I think it's actually the same artist, Matsuhiro Arita. So, that's really cool. And now, on to our special cards. We have the Celebi Berkila, Shining Celebi Berkila means shining in Indonesian. So, we got two shinings today, Genesec Berkila. I did not expect that at all. We also have Alolan Exeggutor GX. We have Lycan Rock GX, so two GXs, two Shinings. And last but not least, we somehow got a Seeker Rare. Usually when you get two Shining cards, usually you don't even get a Seeker Rare. Or if you get a Seeker Rare, you get one Shining card. So we got a Hyper Rare Guzzlord GX. It's actually really beautiful and also very nice on the Japanese card stock. Again, Indonesian cards are printed within Japan. So five pulls in total, a lot more than I expected. So I hope you guys enjoyed this opening. If you did so, please make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon, Beyblade, and Mazika Party content. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.